Hello. Who's here? That's yours, Colonel. Thank you. Mr. Fisher, another whiskey. Thank you. Well, you can get me one, Kathleen. Then come and sit by me to change my luck. Oh, stop talking. I'm trying to play this hand. Mm, the sort of hands you hold play themselves. Eh, hey, Colonel Henslow? Rummy holds the most amazing cards. Well, the rest are mine. I suppose because I'm your brother, Kathleen, I can't have a drink. That's right. Four spades. <coughs> Yes, there was a bad effort on my part. Dr. Watson is here, miss. He says he won't disturb the breach. Thank you, Marcy. Tell him I'll be with him in a moment. Thank you, Marcy. Mm -hmm. the king is he? Yes, it's a dummy, of course, you've had the opportunity of coming in. Well, now, what about honours? Uh, four in one hand and one in the dummy at 81. Excuse me, sir. This was on the floor. Oh, uh, thanks. <coughs> ah, thank you. Uh, my dear, I believe. Will you cut, Carla? Come and sit by me, Kathleen. I can't leave Dr. Watson alone. I must go. Mm. Is that the Dr. Watson, the friend of Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Then you know Holmes? No. Dr. Watson has known us since Ronnie and I were kids. But we've never met Mr. Holmes. Yeah. He's always too busy. I see. I've got two aces of spades. But we've used this pack before. Oh, I know. Marston found one on the floor. Yes, but how could... Yes, it? And it must have dropped off here. You are cut, please, Carla. Cut for me, Ronnie. Well... Oh, don't go, Kathleen. I'll come and say goodnight to you all before I go to bed. I expect you'll all be at it till three. <clears throat> now, don't get up. I hope you all win. My dear, how kind of you to come. A summons from you comes before even a summons from Sherlock Holmes. It's sweet of you to say so, anyhow. Take off your coat and let me give you a drink. No, thanks. I can't stay. I came for a moment because you sent for me. Well, let's sit down for a minute.
Has Ronnie got another bilious attack? No. It's nothing, really. I'm a bit worried. Kathleen, dear, won't you confide in me? It's about Ronnie. This gambling. You know, six months ago, we hadn't a shilling. You mean when your trustee absconded and shot himself? Yes. We were going to leave here. Ronnie was going to give up the diplomatic service. And then he began to play bridge for high stakes. But I always understood he was an exceedingly fine player. He is. But you can't always win. What do you mean? Always. Sometimes it's 20 pounds, sometimes 500. But he never loses. It looks as if... Oh, I can't say it. It's impossible. Ronnie isn't capable of such a thing. But I would like to be sure. How can one make sure? Well, I really don't know. I'll ask Holmes. Oh, no. He might arrest Ronnie. Oh, of course he wouldn't. But he might frighten him into giving up cards. I never thought of that. Yes. Do ask him to do something. I'll come round and see him in the morning. May I? Well, I don't know. Yes, I may. You'll make him see me, won't you? He thinks an awful lot of you. Well, I don't think I need waste time, Mr. Graham Slam. I make seven spades, three diamonds, two hearts, and the ace of clubs. That's right. Another big rubber. Well, that just about cleans me up. Well, I make the difference. Sixteen hundred points. You add up very quickly. Quite a mathematician, eh? <laughs> How much is that? A hundred and sixty pounds. Well, I've lost both rubbers, and so I owe you two hundred and fifty-five pounds. If we settle up at the end. This is the end. My, uh, my wife is not very well, and I promised to go home early. Well, if you must, you must. Uh, if I'm sorry to spoil your evening, but perhaps you can get Miss Adair to make up a four. <laughs> Kathleen plays a game that resembles hockey more than bridge. Still, if you are determined, we'll see you Monday. I'm afraid I shan't be able. I have to go out of town on important business, and I don't know when I shall be back. Then it's no use trying to fix another evening. I'm afraid not. Let me know when you're back. Good night. And thanks very much. I didn't know Sir Timothy played bridge. Sir Timothy? Yes. Timothy Frobisher. He's the fourth. You know, one can't work long with Sherlock Holmes without picking up some of his tricks of observation and deduction. What makes you think he's here? Well, his initials. T.F. Timothy Frobisher. Elementary, my dear Kathleen, elementary. And then, for further indications, the owner of this hat is immensely tall. You see, he's bruised the top edge here, probably going through a door. Excuse me, may I have my hat? Yours? Certainly. My initials are inside. T.F. Thomas Fisher. Oh, I beg your pardon. You're not going? Yes, my wife is not very well, and I promised to get home early. Oh, I am sorry. I think I'll go, too. Well, good night, and thanks for playing. Sorry, you had to drop and luck. See you Monday. Well, really, I, I think I'd better not. I've lost an awful lot lately, and I think I'd better chuck it for a bit. Well, just as you like. Oh, don't think me rude, but, but I just can't afford it. No, it's all right, about it. Good night, Colonel. Good night. Well, have you to have a sick wife and a business appointment? No. A whiskey and soda. I'm sorry. Still, it is rather rough. I don't see why. Fisher, being a millionaire, naturally loses his temper when he loses sixpence. And Tony Rutherford is broke. And you think that's all? What else? Oh, nothing, of course. You can always get another four. Then you'll continue to come. With pleasure. I'm not afraid of losing sixpence, and I'm lucky. I often cut with you. <laughs> What's the matter with you all? Stopping so early. Well, Fisher had to go, and for once in my life, I'm going to have an early night. <laughs> then I'll see you out. Good night, Ronnie. Good night, Colonel.
Ronnie, you've got to tell me the truth. The truth? What do you, what do you mean? I've got to find out the truth. Terribly difficult thing, darling. Ronnie, stop. Can't you explain the date of spades? Explain the date of spades? You know exactly what I mean. When Marston picked it up, you said it belonged to that pet. It doesn't, and you know it. Well, it must belong to some other pack. A hidden duplicate pack. What the devil do you mean? How dare you suggest that God I... knows I don't want to suggest it. But we were ruined. Then you started playing bridge for heights. Yes, sir, and... Kathleen. We've always been the best of pals. But if you're going to say things like that, I... Don't you see? Everything points to it. Oh, I don't believe it. I, I won't believe it. If I did, I'd rather put a bullet through your head than earn a bother. I guess not. Excuse me, sir. A note from the Foreign Office. Thanks. Who brought it? A commissioner, sir. Is he there? No, sir. He said there would be no answer. Thanks. Shall you want anything else, sir? Uh, not tonight, Marston. I shall want breakfast a bit earlier. The foreign and craft may help us nine. Very good, sir. Good night, please. Good night, Marston. Good night, sir. Good night. Anything serious? Well, if you must know, they want me to go and see some German fellow in Hampstead who will tell me some official secret which was probably published in last night's paper. Don't go, Ronnie. I've got to have this out with you. I can't believe 